I am Jeremy's girlfriend. <laughs> yes, <laughs> this is his little girl. Ganger was working at Ned Pepper's the night of the mass shooting. He helped get people inside the bar as the shots rang out. When that guy came around the corner, I stood there. He just looked at me, and for some reason, he paused for a split second. And fortunate enough, they're true heroes that night. All six of those guys were able to take care, take care of him without hesitation. After the gunman was taken down by police right in front of the bar, Ganger says he got the gun out of his hands. Ganger says he returned to work soon after the tragedy, but struggles with PTSD. I still don't sleep. Still have the same dreams over and over, and certain things still bother me a lot more than normal. Ganger says his life has completely changed. He's been recognized for his actions by local children, the state legislature, and last month, the WWE. I'm not a hero. I was just doing my job that night. Like I said before, the true heroes that night are the Dayton Police Department. Eight years, he's been pretty big down in the Oregon. Um, working at Ned Peppers and doing on and ends with everybody down there. So now everybody pretty much knows his face. I mean, he, he did something very, very brave, but at the same time, um, very stupid. <laughs> so he, he was right there on the line. He definitely could have been shot by the shooter or direct line with the um, officers. So either way, if the gunman hadn't have paused and he would have ran forward like he wanted to, then he probably wouldn't be here today. So he probably would have died trying to help everyone else that he already helped. So ever since I have known him, that's how he was. He would drop the, you know, whatever he was doing to help somebody. You know, it's crazy when, you know, like when I was first reading about him, um, I made this sort of grandiose promise, you know, if I could ever do anything for him, you know, this incredible person, this, I mean, guardian angel of our town, if I could ever do something for him, especially, like, as painless as this, if I could do something for him, I absolutely would, and so this was that for me, so I thought, you know, if we could do this, like, small effort on my part, like, maybe this could help him and show him that we love him back. But, um... I thought this was a good way for him to feel better because he still deals with a lot of guilt of what happened. So this was a good way for him to feel better. Jeremy is brave to a fault. He is selfless. He is courageous. Strangers like friends and treats friends like family. You couldn't really ask for a better person to be in your corner. He is not at Ned Pepper's right now. I think it was, um, he kind of needed a break. Um, after he had his daughter, he just wanted to spend some time with her. And then um, it was kind of hard going back. He tried it, um, but it was a little hard going back, just being in the same position um, every night and kind of reliving it a little bit. You know, we see what you did, we remember you. It's going on two years now, but you're still in my heart and I still look up to you and I still think of you as, you know, sort of the angel of our town. What you've done is going to live on forever, past your lifetime. You've done something truly great and I hope you continue to be the incredible person that you are.